Now we're in France with this latest flagship model from Pilot. It's their new premium class. And you'll see in small print, it comes from Le Voyageur, which was Pilot's premium brand. But because the Pilot name is so much better established, better known in the UK, that is the primary branding on the vehicle. Now, what do you get from Pilot? Well, you start off with this bold new look which uses the original Fiat headlights and has styling unlike any other A-Class on the market at the moment. It certainly looks good and even better with the black mirrors that will come as standard on production models. This is the LV 6.8 LF, 6.8 metre A-Class, the smallest in the range but also one of our favourites because it uses that space so well. It's got a nice big lounge and a really good garage at the back amongst other things and those are just two of the aspects that make it our luxury motorhome of the year for 2016. Now the great features of this motorhome carry on on the outside not only has it got an Alco chassis these pretty alloy wheels but lots of detail thought has gone into all the practicalities the fresh water filler for example is here inside so you haven't got a an untidy filler on the outside, you haven't got a cold spot in the sidewall. And should you be on a site where it's inconvenient to get to a tap, Pilot have provided you with this. So just attach that and you can fill your water tank or at least top it up from a watering can. There's useful access to your boiler here for servicing too. And then further back is internal uh, winterized access to your wastewater dump valves and then right at the stern a truly massive garage but you won't be fumbling around in that garage looking for your mains lead because it's here built in on a coil next to the leisure battery ready to hook up So why do we like this Pilot so much? Well, let's start with the lounge and look at it. It's the classic British lounge. Two long, comfy settees, these lovely agouti swivel captain's chairs in the front, lots of space, whether you're just two people wanting to chill out, put your feet up. I'll try not to make the upholstery dirty because it's lovely upholstery too. It does have a nice warm feel to it or alternatively if you've got your friends around for gin and tonics dinner whatever we've got plenty of space good lighting even into the cab of course it's an a-class so you've got full width at the front full insulation it's it's a really comfortable place to relax and then when it comes to dinner time well the classic european fixed table is here but it's not in the way. Why is it on the way? Because it slides forward, it slides back, it folds in half as here, or it unfolds like that. Plenty of room now for those guests that are expecting a nice French dinner. And the final thing is that it twists. So wherever you want your table, it will go. Now, you might think, all very well, but I need a bit more versatility. I need a vehicle that can carry rear passengers. And you can in this Pilot simply remove these backrest and squab cushions on both sides. Underneath, you have got travel seats on both sides. On this side, it's an Agouti fold up travel seat, nice and comfy. And on that side, it's a seat made in a more conventional motorhome fashion with two slot in cushions, but equally, um, it works well. And if you've got two kids, keeping them separate like that may well be a good idea. When it comes to sleeping though, um, this is all about mum and dad. And I'll show you why in just a second. Now we've all seen A-class beds many times before, but this one is slightly different. Now I've cheated here, I've already turned the front seats back to facing forwards and reclined their backrests fully forward as well. And I've pushed the table out of the way. So we're ready now to deploy the bed. And you just need to undo a couple of little straps. Nothing can be much easier than that. Fold the two side backrests down. And down swings your two single beds. 
good size, seem nice and comfy. But what about access? Well, you don't want to be climbing up onto your seats. You don't want to be fiddling around with the ladder. What about that? Proper steps ready for bed. Moving into the back of the vehicle, you've got this nice L-shaped kitchen, and nobody can say that Continental motorhomes are inferior to British ones in the galley department when they look at this pillot. Well, there's loads of worktop space, ample drawers for your storage, even two bins in there, lots and lots of practical places to keep everything, lots of room to prepare that lovely French gourmet dinner, and then, look, more storage there over the top of that garage. What good thinking from the pilot designers there. And then in the back corner of this pilot you come to the excellent washroom. It's got this glass salad bowl style wash basin which would like lots of mirror space and then hiding behind those mirrors lots of storage for your towels, clothes and so on. But the wardrobe has a neat touch. As you open the door it actually brings the hanging rail and then therefore all your jackets and shirts and so on closer to you. How, how clever is that? The other side of me is the shower, that's a good size, and it's actually got a seat as well, so they really have thought of everything. And of course, a properly winterised double floor motorhome like this has its fresh and wastewater tanks in the double floor.